Hello everybody. So as promised about a year ago, here it goes. This is a fresh, for all intents and purposes, Windows XP machine that is ordinary in stock in every way. Um, first thing you have to do is you have to have a software called OmniFlop. OmniFlop can be downloaded. I'm not going to tell you where to get it from, but this is the software that works. The Lotharec HXC Floppy Emulator software is the converter. So what happens is OmniFlop will read a factory floppy disk that is in, in Sonic proprietary format. And what OmniFlop does is reads every variety of floppy drive that the author of the software could find. In order to do that, you have to load a special floppy drive driver. Cannot do this process through a USB floppy drive. It must be parallel floppy drive cable. A USB to floppy drive controller will not work. So the first thing you need to do is install the driver. So you go to My Computer Properties, Computer Properties, Hardware tab, Device Manager. Move it down so you can see it. And it is a standard driver, standard floppy disk controller. The driver is from Microsoft in 2001, which is about right for Windows XP Service Pack 3. I'm going to update the driver. We're not going to allow Windows to search online. We're going to install from a specific location. We don't search for the drive. We're going to choose a driver to install. I'm going to have the disk. The disk, in my case, is in Documents and Settings, Administrator, HXC, Floppy, Emulator, Floppy, OmniFlop. I'm going to browse, and there it is. So we want the OmniFlop INF. Now there is another floppy drive controller. See so if you see up here. See so if you see in Device Manager, there's a floppy drive controller. We don't want that one. But for old-fashioned formats, they have provided a floppy drive controller as well. What we want is the OmniFlop INF. We say open. We say OK. So we say next. And you look and see, it says this is not Microsoft software. Are you going to do it anyway? Yes, we are. And then we will finish. And we close. So what we have now when we do the floppy disk controller properties is a driver provided by Jason Walton. The driver details are omniflop.sys from Sherlock Consulting Limited version 3.0.0002-2000. Copyright from 2004 to 2011. It's not digitally signed. If you say OK, OK, that is the driver that is controlling the floppy disk drive. OmniFlop talks to that driver. This is software that talks to the driver to load all the different formats of machines. So we're going to run the OmniFlop software and so we'll run test installation and then somewhere about halfway is the one we're looking for is the Insonic Mirage floppy drive format. It's too far. Go back up. There it is. So it's a 440 kilobyte format on a single-sided, single-density disk. It is not PC format, and a regular PC cannot read it. So we're going to select Mirage. You say OK. This drive, drive B supports zero formats because we don't have a drive B. Five, drive A is extended format supported. Let's say OK. So we're going to go to next. I'm going to read a disk. The disk we're going to read is going to be the Insonic sound disk number 11 of stacked strings. Next. I'm going to say floppy drive A. We don't want to auto-detect. We're going to write the bad sectors. We're not going to run the slow skip rate. So the only thing I have done is write bad sectors as FF. That means if there's something bad on the disk, it's going to fill it up with ones. Say next. I'm going to pick an Insonic Mirage. Say next. It's going to create a standard disk image. I'm going to run it. We're going to call it and Sonic Sound Disk number 11. And we're going to put it on the desktop. So we say finish. 
Now you can hear the floppy drive reading. It's got about 30 or 40 seconds to read the disk. While this is going, I'm going to say that I had a brand new floppy drive in this machine, and it didn't work. I don't know why. It was a single chip. Maybe there's some value in having a old, old floppy drive with discrete components. It could be the strongest spring, or it could be the high-energy motor. I'm not positive why the new drive didn't work, but it did not. So this is a very old drive. We want to repeat the operation. We say no. And we can cancel. Now, on the desktop, we have Ensonic Sound Disk number 11. This file that we've created, ESD11, is a .img file from Omniflop. It is compatible with the HXC floppy emulator software, which will be the next video.